Number 25, Flame. Also known as Skywiper and Flamer, Flame is a modular computer malware that was discovered in 2012 as a virus used to attack computer systems in Middle Eastern countries that run on Microsoft Windows. Used by hackers for espionage, it infected other systems over a local network, including over 1,000 machines from private individuals, educational institutions, and government organizations. It also recorded audio, including Skype conversations, keyboard activity, screenshots, and network traffic. It was discovered on May 28th by the Meher Center of Iranian National Computer Emergency Response, the Crisis Lab, and the Kaspersky Lab. Number 24, the July 2009 cyber attacks. These were a series of coordinated attacks against major government financial websites and news agencies of both the United States and South Korea involving the activation of botnet. This involved a number of hijacked computers that caused servers to overload due to the flooding of traffic called DDoS attack. The number of hijacked computers varied depending on the sources and included 50,000 from Symantec Security Technology Response Group, 20,000 from the National Intelligence Service of South Korea, and more than 166,000 from Vietnamese computer security researchers as they analyzed the two servers used by the invaders. Number 23. Hacking the Canadian Government the Canadian government has revealed in news sources that they became a victim of cyber attacks on February 2011 from foreign hackers with IP addresses in China. These hackers were able to infiltrate three departments within the Canadian government and transmitted classified information back to themselves. Canada eventually cut off the internet access of the three departments in order to cut off the transmissions towards China. Number 22. PayPal PayPal became a victim of a cyber attack in December of 2010 after it permanently restricted the account used by WikiLeaks to raise funds, citing a violation of their acceptable use policy as a reason. Unfortunately for them, it not only resulted in multiple boycotts from individual users, but also a wide-scale hack. Number 21. Project Chinology The biggest protest movement against the Church of Scientology was conducted by Anonymous, a leaderless group of internet-based hacktivists that originated from 4chan. The Project Chinology originated from the church's attempt to remove the material from the highly publicized interview of Tom Cruise, a prominent member of the church and the internet in January of 2008. It started with a YouTube message to Scientology on January 21, 2008, and was followed by a distributed denial-of-service attack prank calls, black faxes, and other methods due to the views of internet censorship implemented by Scientology. Number 20. 4chan. An English language image board website used for posting pictures and discussions of the Japanese manga and anime, 4chan was launched on October 1st of 2003 by a bored 15-year-old student from New York City named Christopher Poole. Since users of the website can post anonymously, Experts believe that its users were able to pull off the highest collective actions in the history of the internet. One of their victims includes Hal Turner, who was raided with DDoS attacks and prank calling in his radio show from December 2006 all the way into 2007. Later that year, the private Yahoo Mail account of Sarah Palin, who was running as a Republican vice presidential candidate in the 2008 U.S. presidential election, was hacked by a 4chan user, resulting in criticisms in using private email accounts for government work. Number 19, India. Despite the country's reputation for being an IT and software powerhouse, India has reported 13,300 cybersecurity breaches in 2011. However, the biggest cyber attack that the country's faced occurred in July 12th of 2012, where hackers penetrated the email accounts of 12,000 people, which included high officials from the Defense Research and Development Organization, the Indo-Tibetan Border Police, the Ministry of Home Affairs, and the Ministry of External Affairs. Number 18. Stuxnet. Iran was subjected to cyber attacks on June of 2010 when its nuclear facility in Natanz was infected by Stuxnet, a cyber worm that was believed to be a combined effort of Israel and the United States, though no one claimed responsibility for its inception. The worm destroyed Tehran's 1,000 nuclear centrifuges and sent the country's atomic program back by at least two years as it spread beyond the plant and infected over 60,000 computers as well. The Iranian government was also accused of its own cyber attacks on the United States, Israel, and other countries, including alleged involvement in the hacking of American banks in 2012. Number 17, Opie Israel. A coordinated cyber attack by anti-Israel groups and individuals, Opie Israel was a DDoS assault that was timed for April 7th of 2012. 
the eve of Holocaust Remembrance Day, with the aim of erasing Israel from the Internet. Websites targeted by these hacktivists included financial and business sectors, educational institutions, nonprofit organizations, newspapers, and privately owned businesses located in Israel. Number 16. Operation Aurora. Yahoo was also subjected to cyber attacks that originated from China in an action called Operation Aurora. This operation was conducted by the Elderwood Group, which was based in Beijing and has ties with the People's Liberation Army, using advanced persistent threats that began in mid-2009 all the way to December of 2009. This was disclosed in a blog post posted by Google on January 12, 2010, and it was aimed at a number of organizations besides Yahoo, which also included Rackspace, Juniper Networks, and Adobe Systems to gain access and modify their source code repositories. Number 15. The Spam House Project Consider the biggest cyber attack in history, Spam House, a filtering service used to weed out spam emails, was subjected to cyber attacks wherein home and business broadband router owners became unsuspecting participants when their routers were threatened. Thousands of Britons use Spam House on a daily basis to determine whether or not to accept incoming mails. On March of 18, 2013, Spam House added CyberBunker to its blacklisted sites, and CyberBunker and other hosting companies retaliated by hiring hackers to put up botnets, which also exploited home and broadband routers to shut down Spam House's system. Number 14. Citigroup Citigroup, one of the largest financial giants in the world, provides an ample incentive for hackers to organize an attack due to the vast amount of wealth and sensitive information that flows through the company daily. In 2011, over 200,000 pieces of customer information from contact details to account numbers were compromised, which resulted in $2.7 million of loss for the company. Number 13. Heartland Payment Systems the trusted payment processor Heartland Payment Systems also fell into the trap set by Albert Gonzalez of the Shadow Crew fame, which were responsible for phishing out over 100 million individual card numbers, costing Heartland more than $140 million in damages that were incurred in 2008. Besides those damages, it also besmirched the company's motto, the highest standards, the most trusted transactions. However, this proved to be Gonzalez's last ruse as he was found guilty of his crimes and sentenced to 20 years in prison. Number 12. Hannaford Brothers In 2007, Hannaford Brothers, a grocery retailer, suffered a four-month-long breach wherein over 4.2 million credit and debit card numbers were stolen by a group of hackers that installed malware on the store's servers instead of the company's databases. This was masterminded by Albert Gonzalez, who also hacked TJX, Heartland Payment Systems, BJ's Wholesale Club, Barnes & Noble's, Boston Market, and Sports Authority. Gonzalez was behind the shadowcrew.com, who stole account numbers and counterfeit documents and auctioned them out to over 4,000 users who registered on their site. They also offered tutorials and how-tos in using cryptography on magnetic strips and credit cards. It was a virtual playground for thieves. Number 11. Operation Shady Rat An ongoing series of cyber attacks that started in mid-2006, Operation Shady Rat hit at least 72 organizations worldwide, including the International Olympic Committee, the United Nations, defense contractors, and others. Discovered by Dmitry Alperovich, Vice President of Threat and Research of McAfee in 2011, it was assumed that the People's Republic of China was behind it. The operation was derived from the Common Security Industry acronym for Remote Access Tool, or RAT, and was behind the cyber attack on the 2008 Summer Olympics. Number 10. TJX TJX, a Massachusetts-based retailing company and owner of TJ Maxx and Marshalls, was just one of the many retail companies hacked by Albert Gonzalez and a group of hackers from Shadow Creek. They were able to siphon off 45 million credit and debit card pieces of information, which they then used to fund their million-dollar shopping spree for electronic goods from Walmart. The data breach resulted in $250 million in damages as Gonzalez and 10 of his crew members sought their targets while war driving and looking for vulnerabilities in wireless networks along U.S. Route 1 in Miami. Number 9. Sven Jaschen. Sven, a German college student who confessed to be the author of Netsky Worms and the Sasser Computer Worms, unleashed a virus in 2004 on his 18th birthday that had resounding effects all around the world. Though the estimated damage was pegged at $500 million, experts believe that it could have been more as it disabled the Delta Airlines computer system and resulted in a number of cancellations of transatlantic flights. Microsoft placed a $250,000 bounty on his head and he was captured after a three-month manhunt operation. Number 8. Michael Calci. 
Michael Demonkowski from West Island, Quebec, is just an ordinary 15-year-old, but in cyberspace, he's famous as Mafia Boy. He gained notoriety in the year 2000 for hacking companies with high levels of security, which included computer giant Dell, Yahoo, FIFA.com, Amazon, eBay, and CNN, with estimated damages of $1.2 billion, not including his attacks in 9 out of 13 root name servers. However, he only received 8 months of open custody, 1 year of probation, a small fine, and restricted use of the internet by the Montreal Youth Court. Number 7. Presidential Level Espionage During the 2008 presidency run, suspected hackers from China or Russia attacked the computer systems used in the campaigns of both Barack Obama and John McCain, which included emails and sensitive data used in the campaign. Because of the breach, the FBI confiscated all the computers and electronic devices. Number 6. Sony In 2011, 77 million PlayStation Network and Sony Online Entertainment accounts, including credit and debit card information, were stolen by an unknown group of cyber hackers. The outage from the external intrusion had an estimated damage of $1.2 billion. Number 5. The Estonian Cyber War The government of Estonia was subjected to cyber terrorism on April 27, 2007, by the Nashi, a pro-Kremlin group from Transnistria. One of the largest after Titan Rain, they employed a number of techniques such as ping floods and botnets to penetrate and take down key government websites, rendering them useless. Their method was so complicated that the Estonian government believed that they might have had aid from the Russian government. One of the costliest cyber attacks in history, the data breach in Epsilon, the world's largest provider of marketing and handling services to industry giants such as J.P. Morgan Chase and Best Buy, had an estimated damage cost that ranged from $225 million to $4 billion. Number 3. The Moonlight Maze One of the earliest forms of major infiltration where hackers penetrated American computer systems was the Moonlight Maze, which was an accidental discovery made by U.S. officials and was believed to be conceived by the Russians, although they denied their involvement. In this cyber attack, hackers targeted military maps and schematics and other U.S. troop configurations from the Pentagon, as well as the Department of Energy, NASA, and various universities. The attack was discovered in March of 1988, but had been going on for nearly two years. Number 2. Titan Rain In 2004, Sean Carpenter discovered a series of coordinated cyber raids in what the FBI believed to originate from government-supported cells in China. Dubbed Titan Rain, hackers were able to infiltrate several computer networks, including those at NASA and Lockheed Martin. Considered one of the biggest cyber attacks in history, these attacks posed dangers of not only making off with military intelligence and classified data, but also paved the way for other hackers and espionage entities to infiltrate those systems again in the future as they left back doors and zombified the machines. And number one, the original logic bomb. During the Cold War in 1982, the CIA found a way to disrupt the operation of a Siberian gas pipeline in Russia without using traditional explosive devices such as missiles and bombs. Instead, they caused the Siberian gas pipeline to explode using a portion of a code in the computer system that controlled its operation in what they tagged as a logic bomb. The chaos that ensued was so monumental that the resulting fire was even seen from space.